Did you realize that Aokiji vs Akane was one of the most influential events in the One Piece storyline? Following Whitebeard's execution at Marine 4, the ripple effect it created became waves the size of tsunamis. It brought great change in the new world, whether it was his last words reigniting the Age of Piracy, or the fact that many of his territories he took ownership of were now unguarded and up for grabs. And this forced the world government to respond, where they relocated the Marine HQ to the new world, but more importantly, the new leadership of the Marines. Because following Sengoku's resignation, the question was who will replace him as the new fleet admiral. Ultimately, Akanu was selected, and Aokiji was very much against this decision. After witnessing Akanu's brutal tactics in Ohara, his entire worldview was shattered, and he strongly believed Akanu's absolute justice would only create more anarchy. He detested the thought of Akanu taking the reins, since it would redefine the internal policies and procedures of the Marines, which is why they dueled for the title of fleet admiral. But after Kuzan lost, he refused to serve under Akanu, which forced him to resign and operate as a pirate.